Hello everyone. Today I'm going to go through one of my favorite economic games that got me into behavioral science in the first place. It's called the ultimatum game, and it is one of the best examples of human irrationality in economics. So what is the ultimatum game? The ultimatum game is a game consisting of two players, a proposer and a responder. The proposer is given something and told to split however much of this thing they want to the responder, who has nothing. In this case, let's say it's $100. If the responder accepts the proposer's offer, then both the proposer and responder keep the money they have at the end of the game. However, if the responder rejects the offer, then both the proposer and responder lose all the money. Traditional economic theory would tell us that the proposer would follow a behavior called rational maximization, which is when you simply take more for yourself because you can, and give the responder as little as possible. Additionally, economic theory would predict that the responder would accept any offer since any offer is greater than zero, which is what they currently have. But as you might have guessed, this isn't what happens. Instead, experiments have shown that the proposer typically gives around 40 to 50% of their money to the responder, which is way above the minimum expected. Responders also tend to reject offers lower than 30% of the proposer's money, which doesn't make sense when you think about their economic self-interest. They lose the money if they reject it, and isn't something better than nothing? This game is my favorite because it shows that human behavior is not as complete as people would like to believe, in this case, many economists. Economically speaking, the participants are acting irrationally because they are not maximizing their own economic self-interest. But are they irrational when you consider all aspects of human behavior? Many researchers believe that there could be elements of altruism, fairness, fear of rejection, and many other human behaviors at play here. It has even been hypothesized that a dopamine hit from the part of the responder rejecting a bad offer as revenge could more than compensate for the money they lost. Humans are complicated, and generalizing them is hard to do. In traditional economic theory, humans will act in their own self-interest and maximize their gains. But tasks like the ultimatum game look to challenge that and help advance a better universal economic theory. What do you think about the ultimatum game? Would you try it with your friends? Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.